So a little more than one year ago, I told you that the Speedmaster Reduced is the best luxury watch you can buy for 2000 euros. But now, after one year, unfortunately, I have to tell you that the watch is much more than 2000 euros, but I still think that it's the best watch that I could have bought in my position and it really single-handedly changed how I enjoy watches and what kind of watches I enjoy. And I'll show you how. Hi guys and welcome back to the Watch Scientist channel. It's Chris and again to remind you if you want more watch content as I presume you do, head over to our Instagram page and give us a follow. I don't want to brag or anything but we are kind of lately getting our first mean comments and someone said that they don't want to see my face but would rather see the watch so I guess we will be doing some changes to how our videos are gonna look like. I hope you enjoy. Uh, no, just kidding. Um, but in this video, I will definitely show you some gorgeous shots of this beautiful Speedmaster Reduced. And I will kind of try to tell you my experience from wearing this watch for a little more than a year now. It was my graduation watch and my first uh, kind of proper luxury watch from a brand um, like Omega and it really drastically changed what kind of watches I like and what kind of watches I have in my collection. I mean yes these types of watches are expensive and they are definitely much more expensive than many other watches which also tell the time but when I got this watch I really started to appreciate how much thought and how much design flows into the construction and the finishing also of such a watch. I mean there's so many small details. I just love how this watch looks from the side. So it's profile. You have these uh, kind of brushed sides with a really sharp, um, really sharp transition onto these polished uh, lug flanks. And then you have this raised bezel with a tachymeter. And I mean, there's just so much more attention to detail when it comes to these types of watches, which really makes the price you pay uh, kind of worth it. Because this watch, I spent so much time looking at it and we haven't even talked about the dial yet. And you will see in the many beautiful shots that I will add here, how beautiful this watch is. And let me tell you, if you buy such a watch, you will not get tired of looking at it and you will not think about the price tag, especially if you think about the fact that these watches last a lifetime and even more. And like I said, we haven't even talked about the dial yet. This dial, like all the other Speedmasters, is so legible. I mean, what more could you expect from a black dial with white hands? But just looking at it, you can see the font is crisp. The font is so well applied. The tachymeter is still looking perfectly on this one. But these are just one of those things that you start to appreciate when you spend a little more money on a watch. I don't really want to go into too much detail around the specs as I have already made a video about this one year ago when I got the watch. So definitely check uh, that one out. I'll leave it in the top corner here. And I mean, it's just a pleasure to wear this watch. Every time I put it on, I just love the way it looks, especially how it looks on my wrist. I prefer a little smaller watches. So this one is 38, 39 millimeters. It has quite um, short lugs, which I enjoy a lot. They are downturned and very nicely detailed, which I love. I really lo like the bracelet, it's very comfortable and it only very occasionally pulls hair. And yeah, the automatic movement is of course very practical. And I still am happy about my choice of the reduced instead of the professional, because like I said in another video where I compared them side by side, check it out, um, I leave it in the top corner here again. Uh, if you are maybe not sure yet on which one to choose, both great watches, uh, check the video out after you watch this one, of course. And yeah, I find myself looking at this watch every time. I'm happy that I'm not wearing it daily anymore because it kind of 
takes away this enjoyment almost. I like to wear it. Um, I do wear it a lot. It's my most worn watch, I would say. But I like to interchange it with different kinds of watches. And until now, I haven't really had problems with it. It has been running great. I unfortunately don't really know the servicing history on this one. So I will definitely have it serviced, um, I think, next year. And the watchmaker of my choice says that he can do it probably for around three to 400 euros, which is a great price. I mean, if you want it done by Omega, um, their service for chronograph movements is, I think their website says above 700 euros standard. That's not what I want to or can pay right now. So this will do. Unfortunately, like I said at the beginning, since I bought my watch a year ago, it has actually substantially increased in price. So Chrono24 tells me that my watch has increased uh, about 50%, which is not considering that I pay 300 euros taxes to get it from America to Europe. But still, the, the watches that you find right now are rather around 2,500 euros, which is of course much more but I would still say that it's a great price for this watch especially considering that they are going up and I mean they're not making these anymore they make a Speedmaster 38 which is also great but this one seems very popular nonetheless I just prefer this smaller size and the professional is just much bigger even though the the lug to lug size doesn't really show it the end links are much more stiff and don't turn down as quickly as these ones so that one just wears a little too big for me but the the new speedmaster on the other hand nearly has that watch and we'll certainly be doing a review on that one in the near future but that one is really nice they really um, kind of shortened the lugs and made the bracelet more more quickly down turning if i can say it like that and on my wrist it really looks amazing and I really love this new Speedmaster. It's of course more expensive but it also has many more features that the, the previous professional didn't have and I think it's in general just a much much better watch than the previous Speedmaster. But still nonetheless I love the Speedmaster reduced. I love wearing it and I still think even though the price is much more elevated than when I bought it I still think this is a great choice for your first luxury watch, of course. Now we are more at the 2500 uh, price point, where you can also get um, many other nice watches. We have some videos on this channel about Tudor, you could also get a um, Omega Aqua Terra, uh, not a new one, but there are definitely examples on Chrono24. And I mean, there's many other watches in this price point, yet still, I think this one just offers a little more than others. And I mean, look for yourself, look at my videos, look at Chrono24, uh, if you are looking for a first luxury watch, but still, if you want to take it from me, this is a great choice. So to end it on a negative note, the only tiny things that I would complain about is maybe the water resistance. I'm quite scared when it rains even, maybe that's just me, maybe that's just a little uh, over the top, but it only has 30 meter water resistance, with this, which is barely good for hand washing, so I'm always trying to be careful. And this clasp is not the best, it's just a pressure clasp. Uh, I'm, I don't know how you call them actually, but it's just a clasp that you press and you pull to open. So it would be nice to maybe someday change it out with a deploying clasp where you have more control on when the clasp opens and how it opens. So that's it for the video. Uh, if you stuck around until now, thank you. And you seemingly enjoyed the video, so leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. And I mean, if you are trying to decide on a luxury watch, I have another more in-depth video about the specs of the Speedmaster Reduced. I have a side-by-side -side comparison of the Speedmaster Reduced with the Speedmaster Professional. And I also have a very interesting video about what Tudor offers and why I think Tudor has one of the best offerings 
for first luxury watches in the kind of luxury watch brand sector. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below if you have any thoughts. We always love to discuss with you down there and thank you guys for watching. Ciao.